So you've got two holes in there. That one's if the um, lay shaft is in, so you can line it on the spline. It just stops it turning because you can hold that with a spanner and that. So you've got two points of locking off the lay shaft to pull it through. Brilliant tool, worth its weight in gold in my opinion. If you're an engine builder or just a dabbler, if you can't borrow one, then invest in one. It's the only way, I think, correctly and easily that when you're moving uh, an engine around, if you've got your hub on and it's painted, it's going to get chipped. This way it doesn't and you can do your brakes etc um, in your own ease without any problem so I just want to show the correct way of using the tool so this outer sheath is pulling in on the bearing race so your casing in effect and the inner would be pulling the lay shaft against the casing so if I just undo I'll just undo the nut So you can see, I won't do it all the way. Right, so you can see there's a sleeve on there that goes inside that and slides up when you tighten it. So we put our spanner on and then tighten up. Bear in mind this would be in the engine anyway. So we just tighten up our nut. see that's going inside now you can talk that up when it's in the casing of course that's about as tight as I can do it now by hand but you can see how snug it fits that's why I say it's a godsend that's not turning and that'll be pulling the lay shaft as it should be not only forcing it against the casing but pulling the lay shaft through very well thought out tool <clears throat> got marvo cheers